now i will show you uh, now i will show you how you can apply uh, on beam udl vdl point loads all uh, simple types of loads in a simple example here i will click file new model uh, use built in setting okay uh, i will just grid only the grid is already created i will click okay okay here is a, a to d grid one to four grids i will select uh, a grid go to the elevation apply okay so now i will draw just one beam uh, i can also selecting the another option draw beam here i will select my beam because uh, i have created a new model now my previous one is not present but i can select the option from here uh, select the all the material from the existing model that is also option so just i will click here concrete beam from here to here okay here is the beam here i will apply the support condition I have selected the joints assign joint restraint so here are all three boundary conditions or sports fixed sport hinge sport roller sport and non sport here non sport fixed sport uh, deformations and rotations all are restricted in the hinge sport movements are not restricted only the uh, displacements and for roller sports only the vertical direction will be selected so now I have selected the beams. I am assigning the fixed ports on both the sides. I have clicked apply. Okay. So fixed port symbols are look like this. Uh, I will select the beam and go to assign. Uh, here I will select the frame loads. Here is a point load. If I want to apply the point load, uh, here is a live load. I will just select where I want to apply the point load from this end how much distance for example the total distance is uh, is 8 meter you can see here that is a y 0 meter and here is the y 8 meter so I want to apply for example at 3 meter from the left end so I will just select the def uh, I um, there, there is a uh, ratio wise it's 25% location 75% location 100% location but I am suitable with distance I will just select the distance for example I want to apply the load at 3 meter point load uh, and the value is for example roughly 40 kN I will apply here you can see the point load is applied and uh, if I want to apply another load do not want to replace the load from this uh, beam then I will select again the location for example 7 meter and apply the load of 70 kN now if i uh, just apply the software remove the previous load and apply the new load i will just select the add to existing load apply sorry i have not selected the object before applying the loads i have to select the object uh, now i have selected and okay here you can see you can apply the loads by uh, uh, point load now i will again select the beam and assign now i will apply the udl or VDL loads so for VDL now for UDL there is an option at the bottom just click uh, for example I want to apply uh, 5 kN per meter load on the whole beam now this is VDL uh, UDL uh, not the uh, point loads software will not remove or for your uh, satisfaction or you can check later here I am just clicking add to existing load that is a live load apply here is <coughs> here is the load 40 70 and the UDL load mm, I can uh, delete the existing loads from the beams uh, for example I have selected delete the existing loads apply now uh, UDL load is removed for point load I have to go back uh, in the point loads okay let's see here assign frame loads point loads 
I will select the delete existing loads here. Now I have removed the loads. Now I will show you how you can apply the VDL varying distributed load uniformly varying distributed load. So here I will again assign frame loads distributed loads. So I will use the option absolute distance from IN. I will select at zero the load value is zero and at for example five meter the load value is is uh, 8 kilo Newton per meter I have selected the bean I will click apply so here you can see basically uh, from 0 to 5 load is 8 kilo Newton meter and there already option is selected so I will just put here 0 apply and that is <coughs> now i will show you how you can apply vdl uniformly varying distributed load assign frame distributed load and here i will uh, select uh, the absolute distance zero the load is zero and at location for example uh, five meter uh, seven meter the load value is 10 kilo newton meter zero value 0 at 7 meter the value is 10 kilonewton meter so here software automatically draw the VDL so on the beam you can draw any types of loads according to your requirements so that's all of load assigning in ETAPS